The animals we take care of range from birds to mammals to reptiles. So these animals need care every single day of the year, including holidays and including during a pandemic. Um, so uh, closure wasn't an option for us. Volunteers for Wildlife was founded in 1982 as the first wildlife hospital here on Long Island. We're the only um, hospital that's dedicated solely to wild animals here in Nassau County. We don't take care of any dogs or cats or any kind of domestic animals. We take in about 2,300 injured and orphaned animals every year that come to us from throughout Long Island and New York City. Very small but very mighty. Working through the pandemic has been difficult and challenging, but also some of the most rewarding work I've ever done. More people than ever there ever are bringing in um, more and more animals. More people are seeing injured and orphaned wildlife. And despite it being a challenge, we're also releasing more animals than we ever have back into the wild very successfully. So when people call us, um, we basically talk them through the situation. We try to determine if the animal is truly in distress, if it actually needs to be helped. If the animal does need to be helped, we encourage them um, and teach them how to safely contain that animal in a way that um, they can bring it to us. In some situations, we do dispatch uh, volunteer transporters or our staff uh, to pick up injured and distressed wildlife, um, and then the animals are then brought back to our hospital. The biggest thing that I get out of this is that I feel we're giving back to animals that we've already taken so much away from as people. We've impacted these animals' environments in so many different ways, and so to be able to take an animal that's been affected directly due to human actions, um, things like litter, being hit by cars, domestic pets that have been put outside, these are all ways to, for me to tangibly help these animals.